Rear lift on, front lift on, fuel tank's deleted. Time to jump back on the roll bar. Um, trying to decide what I'm gonna do for a top rail on it. I think I'm gonna go around, give it some curve. But uh, fuel tank's in, fuel neck's connected, which I, I'm very proud of. It, it functions like a normal fuel, filler neck. Just open the door, take the cap off. Um, all the fuel lines and everything and the vents are hooked up are proper. That actually ended up being really nice. Goes right over the fuel tank on a downward slope. Not a huge downward slope, but there's a pretty significant drop from there to there, so it'll feel fine. The only thing I may have to double back on is this is not a vented cap because most caps are not vented, but I attached the vent to the filler neck as it would be in a car. So I may need to put something on there to equalize the pressure. Uh, I might just get an old farm cap. Typically those old farm caps are vented, but I can come back to that. That's easy enough. That's a, a purchasable fix. I think those caps are like 10 bucks. So I'm thinking for this round bar rail, don't know if I'm gonna come down with it and then up or if I'm gonna go just across the top. Um, I think I'm gonna cut some pieces up and stare at it in a minute and try to decide from there. Let's get after it. Under the sun. Yes, I'll come back to you. Then I'll ask what have we done under the sun. Got stands leveled squared on the outside and then you remember we have this bin that we put into it so we will match that using the my pipe bender which is notch it bend it and then uh once you have that leveled out to where you think you want it Just tack it back in place. So, lay it up here, get the height right and the bend right. So, I need to tap it some more or per perhaps even cut a little bit more. And then I'll just weld that little slit back in and nobody ever know. So, let me finish doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that long or just angle it up, but everything is just lightly tacked into place. Um, need to, once this is a little tighter welded in, uh, tap this down and make that parallel, but I mean, that's really move that by hand right now. And once that gets right, we'll just weld that all around. I'm thinking that it's a nice four inch gap, surprisingly perfect. I thought I was gonna have to shim it, but uh, it's four inches on the nose and that gives, it's not like it needed the rigidity, but that gives some visual thickness to it. And I'll come up with something to uh, cap the ends of here so this doesn't look so ugly. And I'll decide if I'm gonna plate either flat across or just knock that off and 
leave that exposed. But that's, I think that's, that's enough to go on. So I'll go ahead and reproduce all those pieces for the other side. We'll go from there. All right, so we've duplicated the same process on the other side and both sides are just tacked up. Um, yeah, see what we're gonna have to do is come back and tap that guy before we final weld it. Can't be living with that little wonkiness. And we'll do the same to this one. This one actually landed pretty straight. It might be okay. Um, but once, once this is nice and squared up and hard welded, then um, we'll bend those final, weld around those, knock those down smooth, and that'll look like one just bent piece of pipe because I don't have a pipe bender. And then we'll weld these in because remember we have those slits to weld in. And we'll go reinforce all those welds that we never got back around to doing. We'll final pass all this stuff and that stuff. And we'll start the process of filling in all those holes, which I think we'll just, I think we'll flip a coin to see us to deal with that. That's gonna be rough. Or maybe take turns with a timer set or something. But I don't know. We'll think about the back here. I ask everybody else's opinion. I'll probably spend three hours not deciding on anything and ultimately just end up leaving it. I guess I could just finish the whole structure, bedline it, and then put it on the truck. And if I don't like it, then I could come back and cut it off at the very end. Might do that. That might be an option. Um, yeah, this right here looks a little low, a little high, so definitely want to pinch that down. Get all that nice and square. Cool. So I think that's gonna be majority of the final structure for the roof rack roll bar. And again, the theory is to put that spare tire on top of there. So looking at that, we might we might add some extra steel. Maybe just like one more runner across here. Cause that thing's kind of heavy. If it gets to bounce and it could be a could be a bad time. All right.